My teachings are based on my experiences, my raw, candid, authentic truth. Anyone can learn from what I've learned. This is me, my story, my methods, my healing, my overcoming. Thank you for stopping by. What season are we in? We are in you season. This is the season for grace. This is the season for favor. This is the season for encouragement. This is the season for uplifting. And most, Im most importantly, this is the season for truth. I see so many people who, who comment, who write and say, you know what? I needed to hear that. And it shows me that the souls are crying out for the word of God. They're crying out for the truth. They're crying out for what is healing because we try to find so much satisfaction in relationships and situationships and people and jobs and money and physical things. And then we do all of this giving out and outpouring and connecting and doing it and and demonstrating right what we how we think things should be and doing playing the role and then still end up empty still end up feeling without still end up feeling less than still end up feeling like i'm not doing what i'm supposed to be doing i'm not where i'm supposed to be and that void is still there right and so that the the truth which is the living word of God, which is that 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 living water, right? That truth, it still it still flows, it still abides, it still covers, it still protects, it still draws in, it still uplifts, right? And so we don't even know that we're thirsting for the water of God. And what does water do? Water cleanses right water covers water keeps life when you think about an amniotic sac and they say a woman who's pregnant her water broke right that that fetus is living in water right and so water gives life water is life water houses life think about the whole planet that's under the earth that's in what we call the ocean right and so uh god is a, is a, is a water that we cannot um, explain, right? A man can do a lot of things. Man can recreate and, and create AI and do all these things. But we know that two hydrogen and one oxygen, H2O, creates water. Man still can't create water, right? But God can. So that lets you know that there is, is a force. There is a being, there's a power, there's a creator that is beyond the ability of man. And so when we sit and we look with our carnal eye, our fleshly eye, our worldly eye that conforms to what it sees, it, it makes us feel like, you know, um, we can't be healed or, or things can't work out or things are not going to change around or things are not going to get better. But those who know, know that guess what? God is yet still able. And so when, when you know that you know that you know that, hey, this is the this illness, right? The illness is, is the lack. The illness is the procrastination. The illness is the addiction. The illness is that thing that you desire that you're not supposed to desire. The illness is that doubt, that fear, that anxiety, that PTSD. The illness is that trauma, that, that, that low self-esteem, that lack of confidence, that jealous spirit. That's the illness. But when you know... You go to the doctor and they say, oh, you got a cough. I'm going to give you X, Y, Z, right? When you know what the illness is, but you know the guaranteed prescription that's going to work, which is the word of God, which is the truth of God, which is connecting with people of God, which is uh, tapping into the encouragement, the true source of life, the true water, the true love, the true purifying and cleansing okay nobody no one can purify you like god is gonna purify you no one can uplift and forgive and cause you not to feel the sting of your pain see sometimes we make mistakes right and and we get so caught up on i did this wrong i messed up in this way this thing is going wrong i i can't figure it out and we can feel the pain of our mistakes but god is such a redeemer he's such a healer that he removes that sting to where i felt so bad so grieved so vexed that i made this mistake and now i have this shame and now i have to pay this thing back and i have to do all these things because of my mistake but guess what god will erase all that 
He'll re erase all that. He'll he'll clean that up. He'll make that right. He'll make that whole. He'll make you yet able to continue to, to move on. And so now when you're in the glory that he's put on your life, you don't feel that pain anymore. You don't feel that 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 anxiousness anymore. You don't feel that embarrassment anymore. What you do feel is his love. What you do feel is him giving you an opportunity day by day to get it right and to get it better. What you do feel is, is the connection that he's drawing to you. What you do feel is grace. The grace of God is God giving us a chance. You know, what you do feel is ability. What you do feel is strength. What you do feel is power. There is so much power in, in the blood of Jesus. There's so much power in the name of Jesus. There's so much power in the belief. There's power in the faith. There's power in the tongue. There's power when all those things align with what you believe, aligns with what you speak. It aligns with what you read. It aligns with what you do. It aligns with how you act. It align, aligns with the, the love in your heart. It aligns with your purpose. No devil in hell is stopping you. You like a freight train, just just running and headed to your destination because now you are all on the same page with everything that God has designed for you, the way he wants it to be, all of the ingredients. See, the word of God is a tool, right? Prayer is a tool. Fasting is a tool. Um, he gives us tools throughout the site, but what do you do with your tools? You just hold your tools? No, tools fix things right? Tools make things better. Tools help you to build things. Tools are are there as a resource for you to step up level after level after level after level. And with God, the levels are endless. The levels are limitless. How far, how vast, how wide, how deep you can go is endless because God is forever, right? And your essence, your spirit, your being that he created and put inside of your human body is also forever. And so you are not limited to um, just this realm. It says, was loosed in heaven, so shall it be loosed in earth. So God is already working it out in heaven and he just wants you to believe and tap into that that he can do for you on this earth. But see, that's just another bit of truth. That's just another nugget that I'm giving you because when we don't know that, you know what, God is, is allowing this thing and it's working for my good. God is setting this up so that my enemies can be my foot. So if God said, I'm going to make a presence, a, 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 a space for you, I'm going to make a play for you, I'm going to make a presence for you in front of your enemies. How are you going to do that if you ain't got no enemies? If he said he's going to make your enemies your footstool, how are you going to do that if you ain't got no enemies? You ain't got no haters. How can God fulfill his word that he spoke a co uh, concerning your life if you do not have those different tools and those tools might be that thing that feel like it's gonna take you out that thing that feel like it's it's hindering you that boss that seemed like she hating on you and she ain't trying to let you get to the next level or 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 that clown over there who who's who's not helping you with your child and that feels like that's taking you off track right Every single thing that God allows in your life is a tool and a resource for you to get to your next level. And he's only allowing these things to happen so that it will shape and mold and build and strengthen you in the spirit. And so the more you seek and desire truth, the more you seek and desire purpose, the more you seek and desire the nature of God. See, we think God is like man because we say he and, and we say, oh, you know, the Lord is our father, but the nature of God is so infinite. It's so big. It's so grand. Just imagine, you know, humans can't create water, but he created the whole ocean. Imagine how grand and vast that is, right? That's how big God is. And that's how big God thinks about you. And that's how big his blessings and his, his love and his purpose and everything that he has for you is grandiose. It's huge. It's, it's unthinkable, unfathomable. Right. But we have to be able to tap into that and know that, OK, though it may seem like like I'm living in darkness, though it may seem like I'm getting set back. The truth is God loves me. The truth is God is able and because he's able, I'm able. The truth is he has power. Therefore, his power. I'm an extension of him and his power. It, 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 it goes through me. Right. Um, the truth is that his word will never fail. So if you don't know where to start, start with the word of God. Genesis. Is one and one where he created the earth right so 
just know that no matter what it feels like, what it seems like, truth is here. This is the season of truth. This is the season of restoration. This is the season of redemption. This is the season of rev resolution. This is the season of resolution. This is the season of rebuilding. This is the season of remodeling, right? And all of those things cause you to get to the nitty gritty of the foundation, clear it out, right? And begin to rebuild and rebuild in that that's going to keep you sturdy and and that is the word and the truth of who and how God is and what he has said for you, about you, before you, concerning your life. Want to read about my transformation journey and find out how you too can overcome any obstacle? Visit Amazon right now to purchase my book, What is Too Much? How to Do Too Much the Right Way.